Hello and welcome. I am going to do a tutorial on how to make a spider plant. This plant will be made in a three inch terracotta pot. Um, you will need a hook. I'm using a G, which is a 4.25 millimeter hook. I've got scissors and my yarn needle. And then in this tutorial, I'll be using, I love this yarn brand, it's the Hobby Lobby brand. I'll be using ivory, uh, light sage, and coffee for the soil. This will be the soil color. And I'll show you how to make that as well. So we're gonna start out, our plant is made with 11 leaves. We're gonna have four large leaves, four medium leaves, and three small leaves. Uh, the large leaves are 15 chains to start. So we're gonna start with our slip knot and we're gonna chain 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The 15th chain will be our turn chain. Um, and then we'll be working into the 14 chains. Now this is very simple. We're just gonna go down here in a slip stitch. If you're not familiar with the basic stitches, if you're just new to uh, crochet, you can find um, my basic stitch tutorial in my YouTube channel. Um, and that will give you pretty much all of the stitches that I use for my plants. So um, watch that and then start along. Um, it'll help you get through these patterns much easier. A slip stitch, very simple. You're just pulling through that chain loop and then through the loop you had on your hook. And we're going all the way down, stitch for stitch. We're not skipping, not increasing, not decreasing. Just going all the way down. And we're gonna do this all the way to the end. This is such a simple pattern for our spider plant. If you're familiar with my shop, um, this plant is sold in my store. Her name is Charlotte. I also have another version named Judith. Judith has the same inside color, but her edging color is a little different. I'm gonna cut this off. I don't need a long tail. It's just gonna hang in the wind. Um, so cut that off. We need four of these lengths. So let's make another one real quick. These tails do not need to be long. They're gonna just stick in the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, my cat Pepper is needing a lot of attention today because it's hot outside and so he may make an appearance here on my craft table. I apologize. Um, and there he goes, shoving the pen off the table. All right, slip stitch all the way down. Take a minute to mention my Instagram channel, my store, and my TikTok is all called The Stuffed Pot, all one word. No spaces, no symbols or anything, just The Stuffed Pot. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I would love your support. I would love um, your feedback, anything. Leave messages in the comments if there's anything you would like me to attempt to make um, or show you how to make if there's something in my store that you're wanting to know how to make. I'm very happy to put that in here. You can also buy my written patterns um, in my shop. I, every time I do a tutorial, I'll make sure that there is a matching pattern, written pattern to go with it in the shop. They're very inexpensive. Um, it just, I do charge for them because it does help support my ability to bring you this content. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 chains. And then we're gonna work all the way back down with a single crochet. We're gonna do four of these large size leaves. I 
If you follow me on TikTok, most mornings I will join and do live tutorials. Um, there we work on new projects. Um, we, I will answer questions about if you're having difficulty with crocheting in general or crocheting a plant, whichever. I like to, we're a very interactive group over there. So um, follow my TikTok, join my lives and crochet with me. Always happy to see what you're working on too. So you can tag me in Instagram or in TikTok. Show me your projects. I would love to see them. Okay, the last of our large leaf here is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, going back down again, we're going to take this 15 chain and we're going to go down with... A slip stitch that has a little snag in it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, it'll get covered up with the outer color. As soon as we get done with this one, I'll show you the outer color, how we edge this out. Again, super simple pattern here. Um, if you know your basic stitches, um, this one is a very easy pattern. And it's also real quick because guess what? You don't have to tuck in any in ends on this plant. Not a single end will need to be woven in, and that is my favorite thing as a crocheter. I hate weaving in the ends. All right. All right, I'm just gonna show this here real quick because I gotta take a picture for my pattern. This is slip stitched all the way down. I hope I didn't accidentally say single crochet. Um, sometimes I my brain gets mixed up and I say single crochet when I mean slip stitch. So this is a slip stitch all the way down. I hope you didn't get too far if I said that. I probably mixed it up and said both. Okay, here's our large leaf. And now I'm gonna show you how to edge it. So we're gonna start with our slip knot on our hook with our edging color. And again, you can do this in any color. So I'm gonna flip this um, finished inside over to where this is the chain. This is the chain part, the chain side. This is the slip stitch side. The slip stitch side has this V here and the chain side just has one loop here. Okay. I'm going to go into this first chain like this. Okay. And I'm going to pull through, we're going to do single crochets. The difference is, is that instead of pulling this loop through this loop, I'm gonna pull through both loops. That is a single crochet. Pull through, pull through both loops. And we're just gonna do this all the way up into every stitch. And it's gonna give us a nice edge all the way up. All right, now I've got to the end of my row. Now, normally when we're working in a block, we would this we would chain one and turn and that would be the end of it. But in order to get around here, do you see this stitch right here? This was our 15th stitch working all the way up in our chain. We used that 15th stitch as a turn stitch, if you'll remember. I'm gonna go in with this stitch and I'm gonna do a single crochet that's going to be my turning stitch to get across the top. Now I could just chain one and get over there, but that's gonna leave me a hole in the top of my leaf, leaf. And I don't really want that. I want it to just go nice and even and around. So I'm gonna go into that 15th stitch there with a single crochet. Now I'm continuing down this row again with a single crochet. So I'm going to go into both loops. Okay, we're going to work into both loops on this side. We're going to pull through with a single crochet and continue going down. Okay. 
super simple and easy. Going into both loops is gonna give us a flat. If you were to just go into that first loop, you would get a ridge because that back loop would stick out back there and that would give you a weird ridge on your leaf. Um, but we're gonna make it nice and smooth by going into the whole stitch and going down. Sorry if you can hear my fan in the background. It is 105 degrees today, and our electric company just sent out a message that they were going to up the rates, and so <laughs> it's not hot in here. I'm just trying not to overdo it. All right, let's cut. We're at the end. Let's go ahead and pull through that last stitch. Pull it tight. This is your one completed leaf for our spider plant. Now, if you want to invert this and do the green on the inside and the white on the outside, be my guest. That, you know, make it yours. Definitely welcome to do that. So we're gonna get four of these leaves. If you wanna go ahead and fast forward to the part where I have um, completed all of these leaves and I start to make the soil, you are more than welcome to do that. Um, but I'm going to get my way through here Again, single crochet all the way up. I'm starting on the chain side. We're gonna get these loops. We're gonna work all the way up with a single crochet. Now remember, when you get to the top of this, you're gonna go into that 15th uh, chain, which is that turn chain, and you're going to single crochet in there, and that's gonna give you a turn on your leaf. It's gonna give you a little point uh, without giving you a hole. Once again, go follow my Instagram, like, um, and subscribe to my YouTube, follow my TikTok. TikToks are fun. If you have time and you really like to um, get into crocheting, um, join my TikToks. I don't have an actual schedule for my lives, but I do try to do them early in the morning. I'm Central Time, 7.30 Central Time, or 7 to 7.30 Central Time, so I'm, I'm not really very punctual in the mornings um and it could change later on once the girls start going back to school and my mornings get busy when they're here um that could all change okay oh i forgot to tell you the sizes if you skipped forward you're not going to know the sizes maybe i did mention it i can't remember if i did or not um the sizes of my leaves my large ones are 15 chains, my medium ones are 11, and my small ones are 8. Um, so, And you can, again, customize this and make it as uh, much your own as you would like. You can make these leaves longer or shorter. Um, you can do however you like. All you have to do is add more chains, and they don't have to be in any specific multiple, just keep on going someone asked me to commit uh, commissioned me to do a miniature one of these and I did it with embroidery floss and she wanted it to have a little baby shoot out of it um, and so we did it during a TikTok live actually it took me two days two different live sessions uh, to get that done and then she ghosted me in my email, <laughs> which was fine. We did it. It was a very fun project to do with everyone. I'm definitely not sore about it. I always like a good challenge. Um, all right. Remember to begin on the chain side. We're going to begin on this loop here. When you start with a single crochet.
Don't forget to go into that 15th stitch. Do a turn there. Or that 15th chain, really. This is such a quick, easy plant to make. It is so fun. Um, okay, let's cut it off there. Pull it through. Sorry, I'm getting real quick. These are our four large leaves. Okay, let's do the medium ones. Um, we're just going to get these cranked out real quick. Again, you can fast forward. The medium ones are done with 11 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oop, there we go. Getting ahead of myself. All right, so you've got 11 chains. You're going to go back in with a slip stitch, remember? Slip stitch for the insert, single crochet for the outer edge. Okay, got that done. Let's cut it off. You don't need a super long tail because it's just going to hang out there. We're not going to do anything with it. We're not going to tuck it in. We're just going to leave it. All right, chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Pull this through. Slip stitch it down. All right, we need four of these as well. I'm only doing three of the small ones. Um, Sorry, I'm going really fast trying to get through these. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay. All right, one more medium. Get this show on the road. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Slip stitch down, go back. All right, now let's do the edging on these center ones. Start with your slip knot. All right, we're going to start on the chain side here. And we're going to go in with a slip stitch. I'm sorry, not a slip stitch, single crochet single crochet all the way around the edge okay make sure that for your turn stitch to go around you're going to go into that 15 or into that 11th stitch go up and then go all the way around down into both loops of this slip stitch that we did. That's going to give us a nice flat stitch.
All right. Down the next one. Go in, go around. Snagged, cut. All right, we're going to cut this off. Pull it through one last time, pull it tight. Okay, two more. Start on the chain side. Go into the first, pull through, four slip, uh, chain, sorry, single crochet. Single crochet all the way around. I, I get those two stitches mixed up in my head all the time, just verbally, like. Same with my kids' names. Sometimes I call Grayson Sloan, Sloan Grayson. Get it all mixed up. Let's do this last one. I'm gonna work on the chain side. All right, that's the last of our medium size. Now let's do three smalls. These are really quick and easy. They're eight stitches, eight chains to begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then back down with a slip stitch. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Okay, cut that off. Two more. also like to add um, if you're feeling very grateful for these videos and you would like to help support my ability to do this there is a tip jar in my link tree um, you can find that on my Instagram or my TikTok. very very much appreciated for you helping me su helping support me in able to bring these to you and bring all this talent and craft and inspiration one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, it means the world to me that you guys support my channel. 
Um, and if you can't do that, then I definitely appreciate the, all the likes, all the shares, um, comments, anything to boost my activity on my channels. Um, just shows your appreciation for what I do here and it encourages me to continue doing it. Um, all of my patterns are original um, creations. Um, they're all pieces of art that I consider, but I'm also very happy to share them with you. Um, all I ask is that you don't reproduce them for profit. Um, I do sell my finished work um, in my shop, which is thestuffedpot.com. There's my name, handmade in Oklahoma here. Um, and so I do, if you, you know, if you're not a crocheter and you just really want a plant to, for yourself or to give someone, uh, you can find all of my plants in my store. I have plants and garland and all kinds of things, fun things. Sometimes I have stickers and pins, um, but most of the time it's just crochet hand goods. All right. Let's get through the last little bit here. Last one, here we go. And then we'll be ready to assemble these into our pot. We'll make our soil. Um, you're always welcome to fast forward till we get to that part. Um, I did forget to mention in the beginning, you probably will need a hot glue gun. Um, it's not absolutely required. You can still stitch it, but I won't show you how to do that in this video. You'll just have to get creative with yourself. <laughs> um, I would recommend using an yarn, a yarn needle um, and some yarn. It's not really that difficult to stitch it together. You could definitely do it. Um, but I also like to secure it into the pot um, with glue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the different sizes here. These are our I'm gonna snap a picture of this too for my pattern. This is the, get this out of the way, sorry. Small, medium, and large. 15 stitches, 11 stitches, eight stitches. Can't get that straight. <laughs> um, okay, let's get back to what we're doing. Sorry, I eat putting my t uh, written pattern together and I like to use photos in my written patterns. Um, and I should probably mention that when you buy a written pattern on my website, it does come complete with photographs. Um, and it's, my patterns are done in very layman terms. I don't use, um, pattern abbreviations. I did not grow up building patterns or making patterns. So, um, I never really learned that and nor have I taken the time to do it. Um, I've had an inundation of requests for written patterns, so I'm just putting them together the best way that I know how. Um, but if you prefer to have a written pattern, um, just know when you download it, um, it's easy enough for a kindergartner. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Um, let me stop for a second. We're doing the soil ribbon. I do two, two, two different types of soil in my plants, and um, I do a ribbon and I do a ball. I do a ribbon for the spiky plants where the leaf comes out of the soil, and I do a ball for my vining plants where I string a bunch of leaves together and then I attach them to the ball. Um, this is a ribbon. 
you can do it two ways. If you know how to do a half double crochet foundation stitch, then be my guest to do it that way and just do 45. 45 stitches is a good measurement for your standard three inch pot. Um, this opening on this pot is two and a half inches. It's still labeled as a three inch pot. Some three inch pots um, vary with the width. It just depends on how they measure it, which I have no idea how they measure sometimes. Sometimes it's this way, sometimes it's the width, I don't know. But just know that um, 45 inches will usually fill up this size of a pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do it the normal way. Um, not doing the half double crochet foundation stitch, but like I said, if you are comfortable with doing a foundation stitch, um, you can do that. Just make sure you do 45 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoops, hold on, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. All right, now I'm gonna go back over this chain with a half double crochet into each stitch. I'm not gonna skip any, I'm not gonna increase or decrease. We're going in stitch for stitch. So as you're stitching this, um, you'll notice that the outside edge has kind of a curl to it. The inside edge um, kind of curls inward. This is the side that's gonna wrap around the pot. It's gonna face, I'm sorry, the plant. It's gonna face the plant. We're gonna glue it together. Okay, we're just working our way down. Just a reminder to like and subscribe. Show all of my pages some love. If you got some time on your hands and you wanna show your appreciation, go through my pages and just like my content. I really appreciate it. It's what gets me going and what, it's what um, makes my page successful. Okay, we're at the end. We're gonna tie this off. No need to leave a long tail. We're not gonna do anything with it. We're not even gonna weave it in. But don't leave it so short that um, it can't be seen or that it slips out, sorry. Sometimes my brain just says words it doesn't mean. This is our ribbon. It's a 45 um, stitches, half double crochet or whatnot. Okay, let's assemble our leaves. Now we're gonna start with the small ones go in the middle first. So we're gonna separate out our sizes here, okay? And when you put them together, you're gonna put them together facing inward. So our first two we're putting here, we're gonna put just a dab of glue right there on the inside at the bottom. Just a little bit, not a lot. We don't need a ton of glue. And then just 
don't squeeze too hard or that glue will burn you. It'll come through the stitches. So just, just hold them together just a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna stagger this one on the outside seam of these two. So it kind of wraps around them. Again, just a tiny bit of glue, nothing. And if you're stitching these, feel free to stitch any way you like. Um, just stay towards the bottom um, and just sew these together. You could also, if you wanted to stitch them together, start with the small ones, stitch them to this facing um, no, wait, turn this over, do it this way, turn this over to where you got the back side of your ribbon, the side that kind of bounces out, curves out, and stack all of these leaves side by side until you've got them all in, and you can stitch them on that way. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to roll it up. And... The difference between doing it that way and this way is that this is going to create some space between your leaves. I'm not 100, I've never done it that way, so I'm not 100% on what it would look like. Um, it's probably going to space your leaves out a little bit and put, like I said, put some separation there, but give it a go. Let's see um, if you don't have a hot glue gun. Because I did um, accidentally forget to. Um, mention that in the beginning of this video. I'm going to go ahead and put in the comments down below um, or in the description um, what you will need to get started. So I think I'm going to start doing that on all my videos. So any video, go to the description first and it'll tell you what you need because sometimes my brain is an aging brain. So <laughs> patience is appreciated. All right, I'm staggering these around. I went ahead and put this medium leaf on this side. And I'm just going to keep adding these all next to each other so that they'll just stagger around each side. And that these leaves will line up. You'll see that after we get the medium size leaves on here, we'll have perfect spacing for the outside larger leaves. Um to stagger, oh crap, I just grabbed a large leaf. I'm gonna take that off before it dries. Whoops. Sorry, getting distracted, not paying attention. Okay, <laughs> I saw that when I put it on there. I was like, wait, that sticks out further. So when you have these together like this, it's gonna make a perfect place to put the large leaf. So the large leaf will go right over the center of the edges of the two leaves. And then that gives it a nice stagger. Um, so let's put this last medium leaf here. Try to keep the bases all even. You don't want to end up, once you open this up, you don't want to end up having the center much taller than, that's happened to me before. Um, you get the center taller than the other one. All right, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this first large leaf, we're adding the large leaves now. I like to put a dab of glue on each side of the two leaves. And then I'm just gonna press this on and it's just gonna stagger right there. And then I'm gonna put this one directly beside this one on the edge of these two leaves. Ouch, I caught my knuckle in that, ow. <laughs> Uh, so I love and hate hot glue. Love and hate it. It can really make you mad sometimes. <laughs> Hold on. I missed my glue dot. That's why. I put it a little too far over. And then I put my knuckle in it. <laughs> you guys come here to see me torture myself, don't you? Okay, here we go. This side and this side. And now we have one more to add, and then we'll be wrapping the soil around. Again, all of these leaves face inward. This is the front of our leaf. This is the back of our leaf. If that makes sense. You can see the difference. All right, let's get this last leaf on here. It's gonna go right here in this space. There we go. 
There's all of our leaves together. And eventually we're gonna open it up like this in the pot, but let's wrap the soil around first. Keep it all nice and bundled together. Just kind of give it a gentle squeeze. Don't squeeze too hard to burn yourself with glue. <laughs> all right, take your soil string. We're gonna do the back side, remember, is the side that kind of curves out. And we're going to glue it to the base of our plant like this. Now I'm gonna start it out by putting the glue on and then pressing it onto the top of the plant like this. Again, I don't want to squeeze that too hard. I don't wanna get burned again, but just put it on there enough to where it holds. Now I'm gonna take these tails and I'm just gonna kinda of bring them down here so they get out of the way. And now that I've got it started, I'm just gonna take my glue and I'm gonna run it down my band. And I'm just gonna gently roll it around and as I'm rolling it, I'm gonna press it into, just to gently press it, not just a little bit of pressure. Now I'm gonna roll this right over um, the row we just glued on. I'm going to keep them very even. I don't want it going lower or higher than the original part. We're almost done here. Super easy. Get rid of these glue webs. All right, we're going right over it. We're making it very even. That way we have width. You want width because it's got to reach the edge of your pot. You don't want to come up short. Sorry, I went off screen because I'm picking glue webs off. You don't want to come up short on your pot size. Let's go ahead and cut some of this off because we're going to glue it into our pot. You don't have to glue yours into your pot. I've had a few people um, in my TikToks say, oh, these would make great stash jars. Hey, that's your thing. Go for it. If you need to hide something, Hide some money, just pop it in this thing, put the top on, and no one's the wiser. You have no idea. However, I sell finished products, so mine is going to be glued in. And now that I know that it fits, if for some reason you come up short, you can always make another ribbon, make it a little bit shorter enough to wrap one more time, and then glue that on and dry fit it again. If that doesn't work, then do it again. Add another one each time. Um, and if you're doing the half double crochet, it's gonna be easier for you to gauge because before you take it off your hook, you can wrap it around and make sure it fits. Um, do it that way. All right, hold on, I'm gonna bring this out real quick. Sorry, I should have been, I don't know why, it just gradually slopes down, I apologize. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna grab a new glue stick because I know it almost takes one whole glue stick to go around the inside of this pot, but we're gonna um, stick it down in here. We're gonna glue to the edge first. There's fuzz in there. <laughs> I thought it was a bug. Okay, so I'm gonna reload my gun here. And we're gonna go, I'm not gonna go all the way up here to the edge because I don't want it to spill over. I don't wanna see my glue. Sorry, my glue stick is caught. Okay, let's try this again now that we got it in there. Let's get it nice and messy. <laughs> and then just gently make sure this loop side is in. And just gently push it down into the glue. And there we have it. I'm gonna give that a few minutes to dry. You can feel it warm on the side from the glue, so when it stops being warm, that's when you know it's dry. Anyway, there is our spider plant. Feel free to make any version or size that you'd like. Um, you can block these down if you want, but they really don't need it much. Um, if you make one of these, tag me in your video, tag me in your, um, uh, pictures on Instagram or whichever in your stories, whatever. Um, I would love to see your finished work. Um, there it is. 
if you want to purchase this plant if you don't feel like making it yourself her name is charlotte and she is in my shop called the stuffpot.com i really appreciate you guys joining me here today please remember to like subscribe follow my instagram follow my um tiktok and if you can find my link tree in my TikTok or my Instagram, I would appreciate tips all day to help keep me here um, and doing this for you. If you have any questions, just send me a comment or a message or an email at thestoffpot at gmail.com. Thank you. Have a great day.